Hi friends. Well, today I'm be working on tags, and there's a reason why. <laughs> we'll go. We'll get to it in a minute. I've been working on many projects, a lot of projects all at once. So I'm making some winter journals. I'm also trying to finish my little women journal, but I've also made myself a goal to do a winter journal one a month until November. So I've been. So I've got these. They're mostly finished. I'm working currently on a, a band for this one as a wrap and I've also got to finish off some bits and pieces inside and then those two are completed that's January and February and I've got some covers ready for those so I need tags and things to fill them so that's why I'm thinking about tabs a lot at the moment plus I'm taking part in the 100 day project for 2023 which started on Wednesday so I've made these two tags so that was Wednesdays and that was yesterday's Thursday today is Friday as I'm recording this and so I'm going to make some more tags today but what I'm going to do today is the same way I did I did three of these I think I've used one of them already oh no here's the third one I made these three in one go and I'm going to show you how I did that to speed up the process. If you want to take part, join in and catch up, then this is a quick way to make three tags all in one go. So basically what I do is I get a piece of cardboard. This is a lovely pizza. Oh, it's such a nice pizza. I haven't had that for absolutely ages. I must get one. It's so nice. Let's put my tags out of the way. Basically, it's got a nice cardboard back. So if I put, want to pop it in a it's you no know, plain back. If I want to pop it inside a journal, then someone could use it as a writing spot. That's what I was thinking, or I can write on it. So uh, what I do is, because this is kind of shiny, I'll get some sandpaper and I'll just rough it up just a little bit, just a little bit, because I'm going to be gluing things down on it. And you want the glue to take. It needs something to bite onto. Oh, I do fancy a pizza now. Right, that's just enough to rough it up. And so I need to wipe it down with one of my cloths. Be amazed how much dust comes off when you do this. See how dirty that is? That's just print. Amazing. Right, and now what I'm going to do is the same as I did on these is I put lots of book pages. So I'm going to cut out, I'm going to get a load of book pages. So I've trimmed them all down. I hope I've got enough here, I think so. And you know what? These are from different books, all from different books. There's one even in French. There's one with some lovely tables. I thought that'd be quite nice to include. And all these little bits, I don't like to throw them away because I tell you what, because they're nice and old and aged. I don't want to go for a vintage look today. They're lovely to use. I mean, that will be lovely in a piece of collage. So I can't throw these away. <laughs> oh, dear me. It's a problem. I tell you, it's a problem. Right, I'm just going to glue these down on here. I'm just going to use glue stick. Nothing fancy. And I'm going to layer them in such a way they go in all sorts of different directions. Because where are the other ones? Because that's what I did on these. So I've got some writing going that way and I've got some writing going that way. Okay. So if you're taking part in this, in the 100 day project, it's not too late to jump in. You don't have to have already started. It's quite easy to catch up now, especially if you're doing something simple like this. You could do, you know, three at once like this and just catch up that way. So yes, join in. It'd be lovely to have some more people taking part. I'm going to put the larger pieces on first. And if you do, I've got a special hashtag. I've got a uh, hashtag ATAG, that's a tag a day. Oh no, ATAD, a tag a day, 100 days for if we're doing tags. But you can make up your own tag. Well, that's, we're meant to do that. You're meant to make up your own tags and things. Put that there. Love that table. Nice. All right, let's have this going here. So basically, old book pages, magazine pages, anything really, just for a bit of text. I quite like old book pages because I like the feel of the paper. It's nice and thick and it's got a nice absorbency. So I'm just going to lay it down, hither and thither. I'm not going to think about it too much at this stage. The thinking comes later on. <laughs> 
We'll save the thinking for later. <laughs> so I'm going to speed up this bit, put a bit of jaunty music on. Right, there we go, it's entirely covered, love it. So now what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to come in, because this is what I did on uh, these. I just put a little bit of gesso, just knock back some of it, but still allow some of it to show through. Just a light application here and there, scumbling it on with a fairly dry brush. Just adds a little bit more interest. Bearing in mind this is going to be cut up, so it doesn't really matter where you do it. So you don't have to think aesthetically at this stage. It's all going to be haphazard. You can add more later on if you want. Once you've cut it up into your tag shapes, you might see where areas where you'd like to add more or whatever. This is just gesso, nothing special. You could use acrylic white paint if you prefer, or gouache. Could be anything that's um, just adds a little bit of interest, really. There. Let's add a little bit more at the top here, and then that will do, I think. So that's some gesso applied. I'm just going to quickly dry that and then we'll chop it up. So here we are from one pizza box lid, one side. I've got four uniform sizes and I've got this odd bit that I could use for a postcard or something. I can decorate that later. But we're going to work on these. So I'm going to select one to work on. I think I'm going to work on this one. The rest I'm going to put aside for the next few days because now I've got the base for three more days of my 100 day tags and I can work on those over the next three days. Now if you want to catch up you can work on these catch up and it won't take long at all. So what I'm going to do with this one is now let me show you what I've done with these I'll give you some ideas. This one I just put a jelly print on and then I added some of my Tim Holtz my faux Tim Holtz paper which is lovely on these. I was so pleased with that. It's a little bit of the deer head hanging out through there. And then I just added on a little bit of muslin with some cotton thread and a sentiment, which I cut out from some muslin. In fact, where's the bigger piece? Oh, here it is. I stamped, this one I stamped on to muslin. I cut out a uh, sentiment from that. So I'm going to probably do that on the next one as well. <laughs> so I love it. And then I added a bit of lace to the bottom just for a bit of prettiness really. And I love that. Of course, then I did a, an eyelet, of course, and then some ribbon. Now you don't have to do the eyelet and ribbon, but I like that stage. This one, I lightly gessoed the cardboard. Then I added some tissue paper with a bit of creasing on it. And then I used some spackle through a stencil and then I added some watercolours. This was raw sienna, a bit of burnt sienna and a bit of some uh, crimson. And I just let it do its own thing. I inked the edges. I added this butterfly that's been stamped on book paper. I think someone's done it for me. I love it. I can't remember who gave it to me. A bit of scrim. I love that. I always love that. And the word playful because I thought that's my word for this year, for 2023, is the word playful. So I'm trying to be more playful with my art. I don't know if you can tell. And again, an eyelet and a bit of lace for the decoration. So those are the first two. This one, I'm going to try a bit of napkin. We've got this pretty napkin. So I'm going to... Get it down to one layer. <laughs> I don't know if this is a two layer or a three layer one. We shall find out, shan't we? And I always save this paper for various things, clean up or to um, stamp onto. Turn it into another, turn it into another one of these. <laughs> so I'm going to glue down, I'm going to find an area I like. See, of course, I love the bird. We'll have the bird going like that, shall we? Very pretty in the spring, like it's begun, it's begun to warm up over here. I don't know if it's going to last, 
but it does feel like spring. All right, I'm going to glue that down. I'm going to use PVA glue because PVA glue is quite nice and I can seal it. So if I want to do anything on top, I can. So I'm just going to apply some PVA glue. So let me know if you're taking part in the 100 day challenge, whether you're going to do tags or whether you're going to do some other project. I've been following a few people, I started following a few people on Instagram who are taking part um, in the challenge. So if you are, and I'm not already following you, I probably am, but if you'd like me to follow you, let me know. Follow me on Instagram and nudge me to follow you because sometimes I miss it if I'm not on Instagram for a few days. I tend to miss what's going on. And then I get behind and then I can't keep up. When I say PVA, it could be Mod Podge. Mod Podge, I can never say that word. I don't think I'm the only one. So yes, you could use Mod Podge or any other glue you've got. White school glue will do. I don't mind getting creases in my napkins. I quite like it. So don't worry about creases. There we go. That's on. Now I'm going to let that dry and then I'm going to show you how I do the edges. Now you can tear around the edges or cut around the edges. But I'm just going to use sandpaper and I'm going to do this. It's a very nice simple way to get it off. Look, perfect, eh? Right. Now you could, if you wanted, to do all three with different napkins. If you're like me and you collect napkins, I can't resist it when I say a pretty napkin. There, look, perfect. So, oh, love that already. I'm just going to cut off some corners now before I do the next stage. Okay, so I've got ink around the edges now. I think I'll go for a vintage sort of look. I quite liked that on this one. I didn't ink around this one, but I did like the effect on this. I'm going to do the same. I don't have a huge range of inks, so I'm a bit limited in what I can do. I mean, hmm, yeah, I think I'll go for the brown. I'm just going to do it a little bit, not too much. Love it, love it. Now you could round, round these bottom corners off. I sometimes do that, but I'm keeping things simple at the moment. <laughs> simple, simple. That looks lovely, doesn't it? Right, let's, next stage. So I've gathered together some bits and pieces I'm going to add to this. I'm also going to stamp on a scrap of paper that I cut off from the book pages because it's lovely and aged. It's perfect for this. And I've got this old antique stamp that I bought in an antique shop. I'm just going to um, use some more of this Distress Oxide ink because it's a lovely colour and I think it'll go quite well with this. Let's try and get this straight. <laughs> I'm not very good at stamping. Okay, let's hope that does the trick. Oh. Let's do a couple more just in case I can do it any better. I probably can, but you know, well, maybe I can't. We'll see. Okay, so I'm thinking I might have a tab on this one so that if it goes in a slot in a book, it can be slid out. And I think that'd be quite nice. I was gonna put some sari silk on, but I think I'm gonna go for that because the colors go so nicely. I like that. And I've cut this bit off a Stamperia page. I'm going to cut it further down. It's a pretty little decoration. I absolutely love it. And the colors go so well. So part of me is wondering whether to add it to that. We'll add it down here, add it at the bottom. I want to just sort of build up a bit of complexity around this area. This is the focal point, so I don't want to interrupt that really. I've done another one that hasn't really got a specific focal point, so I'd work differently on this. I would 
build up a layer with a focal point. In fact, because it says carte per style, uh, which obviously is not all there, I would add a postage stamp on top of some muslin and build that up that way. I might do that and show you if you want to watch me do that, then keep watching because that's going to happen. Oh, I could do some. I could staple that on, couldn't I? That'd be quite nice. But all the, I want to sew around the edges, so I don't want to use a staple because that'd be difficult. So I'm going to have to use glue. And I'm just going to use glue stick for now because, as I said, I'm going to sew around the edges. And it doesn't matter how well it sticks on, just as long as it's in place, ready for sewing. go there and now I've got this lovely per quarter which I'm thinking of layering up like so I just want to build up a bit of interest there like that. Quite tempted to add some thread. And what colour should I pick out? I'm thinking of picking out some of that dusky green, but I don't know if I've got quite the right green. I've got a bright green, that might be quite nice. And I can have some muslin as well because I do like the muslin. I'm just going to pull a length of this out. I got the idea for the thread from Shinuki. I watch her a lot on TikTok. I also follow her on YouTube, but I'm more likely to find her on TikTok lately. See, that? that's pretty. So that could go underneath. That's nice. Now we're talking. Yes, I like that. So I'm going to build those up. I'm going to use the stronger glue for this. Oh, before I do that, I'm going to ink this up. You've never seen me do so much inking. Oh, I'm really into this inking business. I'm just going to do it lightly. Just a little bit on the brush. Just to knock back the brightness of it. There we go, that's lovely. Right, now I'm going to build these up. I've forgotten how I was going to do it now. Like that, I think we're going to go for. That's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so we'll start with this. <laughs> I'm using just three and one glue, which is very, this is very much the same as Fabri-Tac. I don't think there's much difference between them, to be honest. Pop that down there like that. And then we'll pop this over the top. Oh, it's just started to rain outside. You'll hear the traffic noises a bit more now. That's lovely. And now I'm just going to sew with a light colour thread all the way, all the way around the edge. I was thinking of using that, but I'm not going to after all. I'll be back once the sewing's done. Oh, I love it. And now I'm going to cut a word out of my typed, I use a typewriter for this, muslin. I'm going to use the word explore, because I'm exploring different techniques. I'm going to try different techniques every day during this 100 day project. And I shall be posting mostly on Instagram but also to TikTok and occasionally to here on YouTube. Um, if I do post here on YouTube, it'll be in the form of shorts because obviously it won't take that long to do these. I mean, I'm taking a bit more time today because um, I'm showing you how to do some quickly. I'm gonna put that word down here. Looks like I've got quite a fancy it going up that way. Do I? I'm not sure. 
it looks too similar to that to that way you see so I'm good to go yep. I'm gonna go down there so I'm just gonna lightly glue it on and then I'm going to sew around the edges of it and I'm going to sew roughly Oh, and I'm leaving the cotton threads dangling because I like the effect. Yes, I like that like that. Thinking of drawing around the edge roughly in a blue pencil instead of sewing. Otherwise it's lost, you see. I may sew as well. Oh, and I was going to say about sewing, you don't have to sew. I just like doing it. If you want the same effect, just draw around. That looks quite effective as well. So that stands out a little bit better. Right, I'm still going to sew this. I'll be back once that's sewn. And for this one, instead of doing an eyelet and ribbon, I'm just going to do one of these. There. Love it. That has been so much fun. So now I'm going to work on this one. I'm going to use a similar method that I've used on this, which is a focal point on top of some muslin. So I'm gonna have a focal point perhaps here and I'm gonna get a postage stamp. So again, I'm going to use some of the threads. I think I'm going to do this on everything. I'm going to get some pretty red thread out, I think. Have that, that red, I think, would be quite nice. So this time I'm going to put the muslin down, then the thread and then the stamp like that. That's lovely, isn't it? And then I'm going to sew around the edges again with this colour thread. Now this one I've done the same as I did on this. I just put on some napkin and then it inked around the edges. That's all I've done so far on this one. So let's glue this lot down. Again using the three-in-one glue. A couple of dollops of it on there. So three-in-one glue holds everything down wonderfully that on there like so. I need some more glue for this. Encourage some of these pieces to come out. So there's this one. I love it. And I was going to put an eyelet in the top there. So basically I've sewn around the edges and I've included some loose threads just to give a nice messy appearance to balance out that area to be honest. Uh, I've sewn all the way round with that lovely red thread but I kept the white thread in the back so it blends in a bit better with that. Love that. So now I'm just going to pop an eyelet in. I do like these gold larger ones for tags. I'm wondering whether to add a word to this one as well. Uh, right. Can you see that? Yeah, pop that there. And I'm going to sew around with the red again as well. So I've sewed that on very roughly because I like that look. I'm letting go of the perfect look when it comes to this sort of thing. And now I'm going to add some sari silk ribbon. So here we are, two tags made in a very little time actually. And I've also got these two ready made for the next two days. So let me know which one you like best. I love them both for different reasons. Oh, I just love them. They were great fun to do. I think I love the red on this. Let me know if you're taking part in the 100 day project. Let me know if you're taking part in the tag a day with me. That'd be great fun if you can join in. Thank you very much. Please press the like button so the algorithm knows this is a good video and it shows it to other people who might also like to join in, you never know. And if you're new here, please subscribe. I do all sorts of videos on journaling, art journaling, junk journaling, embellishments and things like that. Sometimes there's interesting things thrown in that are slightly different. Next week, I've got something very interesting I want to show you. I wanted to show you this week, but it's going to take a little bit of time to do. And I've been lacking on time this week. 
lacking on energy as well <laughs> which is half the battle isn't it so anyway drop a comment down below i'd love to hear from you that's why i do this and yes come back next week thanks for watching bye